After traveling in Latin America for five months, we have now reached our last country of our trip, which is no other than Mexico. We'll be spending one month exploring the beauty of this country, visiting several different destinations. And I now welcome you to join the journey exploring Mexico together. In this travel vlog, you'll get to join me to Oaxaca City, a place known for its vibrant culture, rich history and beautiful colonial architecture. I'll be sharing with you guys some different fun things to do here and some great food spots to visit. I'll be also sharing with you guys a great day trip destination, which is the beautiful Hierve el Agua. Hello everyone, my name is Janika and welcome to this video. Yesterday me and my boyfriend Rul arrived to Oaxaca City in Mexico and this is a place that I've actually really been looking forward to visiting. Oaxaca City is supposedly a very colorful and beautiful city and it's also famous for having some great food and food markets and everything. So yeah, I'm really excited to explore the city for the coming days. breakfast I decided to try a new Mexican dish that I've never had. These are called flautas. They're basically little like tortillas or tacos with filling and you choose the filling and you choose the sauce. I chose guacamole with cheese filling. I saw some other people here ordered it as well so I've been a bit spying on how they're eating it. So it looks like this. Oh, it's dripping. And I saw on the table next to me that they did like this with the sauce. Put it on top. Mmm, really nice. And there's a bit of a lemony taste to it as well, or lime. They must have added that to this too. We came across this cat cafe completely by accident and we just couldn't resist not visiting. The cats here were so cute and very social actually, which is not always the case in cat cafes, what I've noticed. And they were also clearly very well taken care of. The highlight of our visit was definitely these little kittens that they brought out at one point that apparently had been rescued from the streets only a few days ago. We've been put on to babysitting duties. Luckily, the babies we're looking after are quite adorable. Although this one keeps trying to escape. <laughs> no! Come back! It's so tiny! Boy.
have come to the botanical garden here because apparently it's really really beautiful you can only visit it by taking a part of a guided tour and we've decided to take a part of the Spanish speaking tour because one the next tour will be in only 10 minutes so then we don't need to wait for a long time and two taking the Spanish tour is much cheaper than the English tour so even if our Spanish is still quite a broken one I think we'll manage we were given these hats to wear during the tour This botanical garden showcases the diverse plant life in the Oaxacan region, mostly featuring plants like cacti, agaves and different medicinal plants. It's a beautiful place to visit, although I kind of wish it was possible to visit it without having to take a guided tour, as I personally would prefer going around by myself and taking my time with it. Let's try this cold chocolate drink. Mmm, well that's really good. And it's so nice and cold, perfect for this hot day. Yum, big recommendation. It's good, but strong. <laughs> Oh,
Museum de las Culturas de Oaxaca is housed in the former Santa Domingo Monastery and the building itself is a stunning example of Baroque architecture. It's located right next to the botanical garden that we visited the previous day and from this museum you can actually see the botanical garden from above. This museum showcases Oaxaca's rich cultural history. The exhibits here highlight the region's indigenous heritage, local crafts and the influence of different cultures on Oaxaca's development. morning. Today we are doing a little day trip from Oaxaca City to a very famous place called Hierve el Agua and you can either go there by doing a tour or going independently and if you go independently it is of course much cheaper but maybe a bit trickier to get there but it should still be relatively easy what I've understood and we're gonna do it by ourselves today so that we can take all the time we want and don't need to go with a tour. I'll show you guys how to get there and the place itself of course. First before we go to the bus stop we're gonna go to a bakery that's next to our hostel and grab some breakfast to bring with us We were told to wait for a bus that leaves from this particular spot in order to get to Hierve el Agua. However, we waited for quite long and it didn't arrive, so we ended up jumping on a shared taxi instead. It was a bit more expensive but also a faster option. Keep in mind that these taxis can get quite full as they will try and fit in as many people as possible. This taxi dropped us off at a small town called Metla from where we jumped on a pickup truck heading to Hierve el Agua. And so we have finally arrived to Hierve el Agua, which is a beautiful natural site featuring petrified mineral waterfalls and thermal spring pools. These waterfalls have been formed by mineral rich water seeping over the cliffs for thousands of years, creating these beautiful rock formations. And in the entire world, there's actually only two places with petrified waterfalls. One of them being Hierve el Agua and the other place is located somewhere in Turkey. Here at Hierv el Agua it is also possible to swim in the pools here which feels amazing after wandering around in the Mexican heat.
This market is a must visit when in Oaxaca City, famous for serving traditional Oaxacan food. It's a popular spot for both locals and tourists for where to come and eat some delicious food. And of course, we also had to come and visit this place. So we decided to come here on our last morning for some breakfast. It's really good. It doesn't look so mind-blowingly good, but it's really good.